All right, so you're an expiring mobile streamer slash gamer and you want to upgrade your setup slash start streaming at a good quality. Guys, this video is for you. I'm gonna go into 13 things that you guys need to start off your streaming setup. Some of them are optional, some of them are necessities. Anyways, I'm gonna make a part two video to this to how to set everything up to where you guys can stream. But for now, I'm gonna show you what you will need, how to use them, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like and let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, starting us off on number one, guys, one thing you're going to need is a capture card. It doesn't really matter what capture card you get. I personally have the Elgato Game Capture System HD 60S. Guys, it is about $179 on Amazon, but I know if you get on like OfferUp or anything like that, you can get it for about $100 and you can pick it up locally. I got a brand new one for only $100, so I saved like 80 bucks on mine. Make sure you have an HDMI in and out port as well as a USB-C to USB port so you can plug it into your back of your computer. All right, number two on the list, guys, is you're going to need something that turns your device into an HDMI cable. Uh, I don't know what the ones are for Android, but what I have personally is a lightning adapter. Uh, it goes from a charge port to a HDMI, guys. It's on Amazon for about $14. Not very expensive. Buy one. Make sure it has a charging port, guys, because you would hate to be streaming halfway through your stream. Your iPad just dies because it's not plugged in. So buy that for sure, guys. I don't know what it is for Android, but you need it to go from HDMI to your Elgato or game capture system. All right, number three on our list, guys. If you are trying to take this to the next level, make sure you guys have a computer. It doesn't really matter what type of computer you have. You can actually have a cheap computer to stream mobile games. I think my computer... I started out first with was like 90 bucks it literally had no GPU 4 gigs of RAM and it only had a CPU and it really doesn't really need more than a CPU because your CPU is what's processing the frames and is what is sending out the stream so as long as you have some good settings on Streamlabs OBS which we'll get to later on in the video as actually my streaming service make sure you guys look up some good settings there's tons of videos out there for good CPU settings to just literally just use your CPU and you can stream off of that guys you don't need any more than 720p 60 frames per second or even 720p 30 frames per second for a game, especially like COD Mobile, it doesn't really need to be high quality. Guys, this is just to start out your streaming slash YouTube career. All right, on to number four, guys. You are going to need a microphone of some sort. Currently, there are two types of microphone, USB and XLR. Depending on what mic you get depends on how much you're willing to pay. All right, let's go over some of the pros and cons of both sides of either USB or XLR mic. If you guys are looking to get a USB mic, great. Go for it. It's one of the best things you can do as a starting YouTuber. You don't have to worry about messing with it. You don't have to buy a mixer, anything like that. Two of the most uh, notable ones for USB mics that most people start out with is either the Blue Yeti or the Blue Snowball. Both are pretty cheap. I think the Blue Yeti is a little bit more than the Blue Snowball. Blue Snowball is about $60. It's a standard one. You can do some things to adjust it to maybe boost the bass a little bit, but overall, USB's mics are about the same. The current mic I have, guys, is an XLR. It's an Audio Technica AT2020. Um, I also have a Berhinger mixer, which I have. It's about $80, I think. It's an, I think you can get it for less nowadays, but the good thing about an XLR, guys, is you are able to go in and manually adjust how much uh, bass you want to have in it if you want to have your voice a little bit more you can cut out those mid blurry muddy sounds you hear from USB mics they just have a lot more range and you can get the highs and lows of your voice which will make your audio sound so much better but if you are starting out and you don't want to mess with all of that go ahead and just buy a USB mic it will save you uh, a ton of time but it's not really much cheaper so if you want to save yourself in the long run get an XLR get a mic mixer and just you know adjust your mic throughout your YouTube career if you are planning on getting XLR all right guys alpha gaming one of the best channels uh, i watch all of his videos on a bunch of different things basically any xlr mic that's a little bit over once it gets that hundred dollar range and above they pretty much all sound the same unless you're getting into like those studio mics which are, which are about two thousand dollars the uh the audio technica at 2020 is a great microphone it's just above a hundred dollars pretty good i would get that guys um i would highly suggest it i've been using it for a long time now all right number five on our list guys this one is optional but if you want to show off your beautiful face to your subscribers you're gonna need a camera now let's go into two types of cameras there are DSLR and obviously USB slash webcam one thing that is important to take into note guys is lighting okay you can get an expensive camera let's say for example I'm using the Sony a5100 even with bad lighting it looks trash it looks no better than a Logitech C15 it is absolutely horrible if you don't have lighting here's a side-by-side -side comparison of my DSLR with good lighting and with bad lighting guys it's just horrible so one thing to take into account is if you have good lighting you can get away with having like a Logitech C920 uh, it is a webcam but it will do really good if you have good lighting there's no point in getting a good expensive camera if you don't have good lighting because obviously it's just gonna look like you're in a dark room with a webcam end of story one thing to take into account guys is if you get a DSLR camera you will need another capture card so either an HD 60s like I have down there currently I have a cam link for mine uh, it, it will capture up to 4k 1440 
GP. Uh, obviously, I don't need to run it for web for live streams that high, but it does have the upgrade ability in the future. I don't even know if that's a word, but uh, yeah, it, it can it can last me a long time. Other than that, guys, if you want to go for a webcam, it's a little bit cheaper, about ninety dollars. You can get even a cheaper one, about sixty. I would suggest the Logitech C920. It's literally what everybody does. Don't spend extra money for the Logitech Brio. At that point, you're getting enough to where you might as well just get a DSLR. It's not really worth it. Uh, price range wise, it's the same thing with the USB to XLR mic. It's worth it to just spend the extra little bit of money. It literally makes your comparison of your intros and everything so much higher quality and so much more professional looking. All right, moving on to number six, guys. This one is optional as well. You will need a coffee sign. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. That one is definitely not a must-have. You can get whatever you want as aesthetics behind you. Obviously, I literally have like nothing behind me. So, it, I mean, it's up to you. Put some aesthetics in your background. Make your stream look a little bit nicer. Let's move on to number seven. All right, moving on to number seven, guys. If you want to become a mobile gamer, people love to see your hands on your device. So, a hand cam is actually really nice. You can pair a cheap tripod with maybe a Logitech C615. It's about $60. Really cheap. Set it up beside you. Point it down onto your camera. Adjust it a little bit in Streamlabs OBS. Yes, maybe flip it horizontally to where it's you know it's facing the right way and uh, you can use a hand cam very cheap optional as well let's get on to number eight all right moving on to number eight guys with all of these devices you are going to need some lighting lighting is very important I talked about it earlier with the cameras you can get cheap lighting you can get expensive lighting it doesn't really matter um, as well as you are satisfied with where you're starting out it depends on your budget currently I have two panel lights uh, there are actually studio lights I got it for about a hundred Excuse me, I had to burp there. $100 off of Amazon. I have also started off with a very, very cheap just ring light. I think I got it for $15 off of Amazon. It also had like a little stand to where I actually put my first webcam on it. And that's pretty much what you'll need. Just any sort of lighting. I don't really know. At the end of the day, lighting is important. But if you're satisfied with what you got, make yourself look cute and get streaming. All right, moving on to number eight, guys. With all of these new devices that you're adding to your computer, more than likely it does not have enough USB ports. So USB port extender will be really nice. Don't go cheap on this. Get about a 30 to 35 dollar one I did buy a couple $15 ones that burnt out so fast because they just can't handle the charge uh, if you can get one with a power supply that would be a plus and it will last you a lot longer guys all right moving on to number 10 guys this is kind of a must-have uh, I'm just gonna go through all the things that you will need keyboard mouse headset microphone stand guys one of my what, I think it's right here yeah one of my first microphone stands just like a I think it was like a nine dollar oh nine dollar stand off of amazon literally just hooked onto my desk held my mouth i think i have the exact same one that's actually holding my microphone right now like you don't need an expensive stand don't go overkill on the stand get like a 15 dollar stand uh keyboard and mouse i literally used like a desk one for my uh for my first keyboard and my first mouse was literally like two bucks two bucks from staples so don't waste a lot of money save your money on that part spend it for more of the things that will last you longer like maybe a cam link or a usb extender or something like lighting that will make a webcam look a lot better one thing that when getting a stand guys make sure that it actually is compatible with the mic that you're planning on getting most of them are universal this one was actually exclusive to the at2020 that's the reason i got it it just has this little like attachment that hooks onto the at2020 um it won't work with any other mic so uh make sure that you guys get one that's kind of standard they have ones like the first one that i showed you this one is pretty universal it'll fit with most mics you just stick the mic in there it expands and it'll make it as big as it needs to to fit your microphone and you can adjust this as well as loosen this to adjust this part as well to basically face it however you know you want it to face you or in your camera or in your background or whatever whatever works for you guys all right moving on to number 12 guys you will need a monitor uh this is kind of a a duh I mean, you obviously have something you need to display uh, your computer and your stream to. So either a gaming or a display monitor will work. My first monitor was like, I think 50 bucks, if that. It was a piece of trash. Since then, I've had two monitors. One is a display monitor I actually run my stream on, and one is a gaming monitor just in case if I ever want to game like Warzone or PC games in the future. I can on that one. It's 144 hertz. It's not like 240, anything insane. But uh, yes, get a monitor. Uh, you will need an HDMI port or um, an HDMI cable that goes from your computer to your monitor, obviously. But yes, monitor is a must have. All right, moving on to number 13, guys. Make sure that you have a streaming service. The streaming service that I use, guys, is actually Streamlabs OBS. It's very nice. You can hook it up straight to your YouTube channel or to Twitch or to any other site as long as you have the URL and the stream encoding, uh, like, password or whatever it is. I have stream code, I think it is. Stream key. That's what it is. Make sure you have those. You can plug it straight in, and when you hit the go live button below, you'll go live straight to uh, YouTube or wherever you guys stream, and you can make content right off of it. There are plenty of videos out there, guys. Alpha 
Gaming is one of them, as well as uh, Stream Coder, I think is his name. I'm not, don't quote me on that. Uh, I'll try to find his channel, maybe put it in the description or something. Guys, they have plenty of videos on good CPU streaming settings, how to adjust your webcam to make it look better, overall good recording settings, how to limit the amount of frames maybe dropped. Uh, drop frames are never good. You can limit a bunch of stuff. Look at some YouTube videos. It's free, guys. Definitely use it. If you don't want to use Streamlabs OBS, you can also just use OBS, which is open broadcasting software. It is basically just the first version of this. This is the second version. The first one is just as good, just as viable, guys. All right, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We will be making a part two on how to hook everything up so you guys can run your COD mobile stream or mobile game in general, whatever you guys want. It's going to be there for you guys here soon. It's just going to take me a lot of work because I don't have that's, I mean, I do have two pieces, but I don't have two pieces set up to record one for the other to explain everything really easily. So we'll get into that in just a little bit. Um, I'll think through some ways on how to do that, and then I will we'll get that video out for you guys. But if anything did help you in this video, guys, I'm going to put links to everything in the description. If you have any thoughts, any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Join our Discord where you can ask me personally off stream and stuff like that, as well as follow me over on Trovo for our streams, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much. I'll catch you all in the next one.